What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing and welcome to the spring season 2021. Uh, the season just began a couple days ago and we have the absolute coolest video ever to show you guys today. Um, I'm doing the intro because this video actually is the biggest fish of my entire life. Biggest fish I've ever seen in person. Let's put it that way too. It was freaking huge. <laughs> so um, a couple days back we had like I really think this is a case of the perfect conditions because we had a storm. It was raining the entire night. We were there for a few hours before we caught this fish. It was um, the incoming high tide. It was a new moon and also it was uh, unstable low pressure. So it was everything was just like the perfect combination to make this a big fish story. And it honestly, it was the coolest experience of my life. I been surf casting less than a year and um, yeah actually June 15th last year is uh, the first day I went surf casting and met Polly and um, it has been quite the journey ever since um, we want to share it with you guys so let's go let's go <laughs> that's all right let him but yeah it's fine let it go let it go just keep pressure it's a big fish Bob that's a massive fish that's all right, keep pressure, keep pressure, keep pressure. Rod tip up, keep pressure. Move back a little, slowly. You're doing good, you're doing good. That's fine, that's fine, let them work. This is your PV. Keep pressure. Can you see him? Can you see? Back up a little. There's a big fish, dude. Big fish. Back up, back up. This is the biggest fish I've ever seen. This is your biggest fish, Bob. <laughs> I'm shaking for you, dude. What? I'm shaking for I'm you. I'm shaking. <gasps> By the mouth. <laughs> Yeah, just like that. Like this? Yep. All right, we, we got to get him back in the water. <laughs> That's a massive fish. He's right there, he's right there. Hold on. Get him back in the water and get him revived. Let's get him all the way out of all this stuff. You put a beating on him too. You did good. Just gotta revive the fish. All right, I'm on a ledge right now. So am I. Oh, it's 
putting down on my finger. That's now. good, that's good. Yeah. He's a big girl. Oh my gosh. I almost couldn't even lift her up. Oh, she's kicking, she's kicking. Yeah, I know, she's biting down on my thumb. Oh, this water is cold. And I wanted to leave. Oh, that's a lot. Hold it by the tail. She'll go when she's ready, just don't let go. You ready? There we go. Bye. Wow. Dude. You just caught a fish half your weight. That is unreal. You know, everybody always tells me that once you catch a big fish, small ones are just never gonna be the same. And I feel like I already understand that. Oh my gosh. Let's go catch more. Good job. Switch and release. I'm like, I'm so out of breath right now. This is insane. thought that that was even half as exciting as it truly was when we were there in person and um, we did really well that night and I think a lot of it had to do with having the proper gear truthfully because um, I had a new reel that was only my second time fishing the van stall and I had my absolute favorite rod um, which handled that so well um, I use a tsunami a 10-6 tsunami trophy 2 uh, the medium heavy and I had that paired with my van stall and it was just that setup was really like the MVP yeah. of that and situation handled that very very well it was it was amazing how well it, it set the hook uh, yeah. kept the fish pinned I mean the whole time you guys could hear it but I'm like keep your rod tip up keep it up keep it up and that it handled very very well and that rod's a, a 70 30 split so um i mean i think that contributed to it being as as strong as it was like the backbone on that thing but like i was also able to like work my lures really well with it which i also think is probably another factor of um of getting that fish because you know we were using a lot of um i we were I think the most of the night we were using like SPs, but that fish actually came on a five inch mag darter. And um, you know, if, if you guys know how it is using them, you know, it's a lot about finessing them all along the bottom and, uh, and swimming them like, uh, like bait fish. So, um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to um, help support us, you can go to smoochandrelease.com shop. That really helps us a lot. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, 
hit the like button and subscribe to us for further content we're gonna have coming at you hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new and um, I know that we've been holding out on you guys for like the past week or so it's because we were holding on to this fish and we really wanted this video to be special like it was for us for you guys too and um, and we also were back there every day since because we were trying to add two cows in this video but uh, that didn't happen but um, I mean I'm more than proud that we were able to share one with you uh, the fish of a lifetime so um, yeah. yeah thank you guys so much yeah a lot of you guys have been here for a couple of years and you've been seeing my journey and now her journey and we were catching little stripers our stripers got bigger fishing at night fall spring whatever it might be we wanted this fish, this video to be very special for you guys as well because you followed us for so long and uh here it is for you guys so yeah we held out for a week but we're gonna get back to it and uh film a lot we're gonna be on the beach every single day so we have a lot of content coming for you that's gonna teach you uh something that's gonna be enjoyable for you guys and your families to watch and it's just gonna be fun all around for all of us so I know it's fun for me. I hope I get a fish that big ever again in my life. <laughs> One more would be cool. <laughs> Let us know your biggest fish. It doesn't have to be salt water. It could be fresh water, whatever it might be. Let us know in the comment section below. Let's share the stoke. Yes. As Greg from Fisherman's Headquarters would say. Yeah. Share the stoke. Let's know <laughs> what your biggest fish is. Or let's know your favorite uh, fishing experience that you have, you've had in the comment section below. It's going to be cool. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time. Wait, you no. <laughs> lift up a little. Uh, gulp, gulp. This is what it was like holding that fish. Flap, flap, flap. <laughs> Just a little uh, PS. You know, a side note, um, I wasn't using a TA clip, I was using a duo snap and people have told us multiple times, don't use duo snaps, they'll bend out on big fish. Listen, my faith was only strengthened in the duo snap because it did not bend, not, we bent out a hook on the lure on that fish and that duo snap was a champ. So duo snaps, they're still just as good. <laughs> <laughs> Duo snaps. They're still just as good. <laughs> Use duo snaps. They're just as good.